All right, now it's time for our, um, a very brief tutorial for Chapter 5. To be honest with you, most probability stuff, um, well, almost all of it, is not doable with the calculator. It's the kind of stuff you have to think about on your own and so on. But there are a few things in 5.5 that are mathematical um, formulas that your calculator will do for you. The first one is this guy. Um, it's an exclamation point. It's a factorial symbol is what it's called. So um, you use that for a problem like this one. There are seven toddlers, excuse me, there's seven toddlers in daycare. How many different ways can they be placed in a single row to walk around to the playground? Oh, by the way, these are the chapter five notes, um, again, available on my website. See previous tutorials for where that is. Okay, so the answer to this is since there's seven kids, it's seven factorial. Hopefully you can see that. Um, here, I'm gonna make this bigger. There we go. All right, seven factorials because it's it's seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Okay, well you could go to your calculator and you could type seven times six times five times four times three times two times one, or you press seven, go to math, PRB. That stands for probability. You can go to the left or you can go right, right, right to get there. But you want the PRB menu, and see there number four. Click that and press enter and it figures it out for you. So it does 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all for you and calculates that it's 5040. Cool. Alright, so that's that. Um, if you wanted to know what this one was, oopsie, 40. Um, then it comes into permutations and combinations. So for example, find 8P3. Permutation, um, you got eight ch objects in a row, and excuse me, eight objects. You're going to choose three of them in a row. So, for example, I have eight horses, and I want to know math PRB. Right there, it is number two NPR. Not to be confused with National Public Radio. There it is. So eight is going to be taken as the N, capital P, because you're going to take a permutation. R, I want to take three. So, for example, like I was saying, you have eight horses running a race. How many different ways can you get the first, second, and third place? Permutations mean that there's an order. There's a rank to this. Um, or, I don't know, you're at the Olympics. You've got eight swimmers. How many different ways can you have gold, silver, bronze? Okay. So you press Enter, and there it is. There's 336 different ways that you could have gold, silver, bronze. Okay, again, the number you type in at the first place gets taken in your N, right? Out of the pool, there's eight people in the pool. How many ways can I have the three, first, second, third? This, because it's a permutation, means there's an order to it, a ranking. Okay, the next one, oh, so this one was 336, by the way. The next one is combination. So 8C3. So it's very much the same way. You go here, you type 8. You go to math, go to the PRB menu, probability menu, pick number three in this case because you want a combination, and three, enter. Okay, why are they so different? Well, P means there's an order, right, like a race. C means you're just grabbing three people. So let's say you have eight people in the pool and you're just going to take three of them to give them a prize. Right? There's no difference, right? There's no gold, silver, bronze, they just all get a ribbon or something like that. Well, if there's no gold, silver, bronze, there's no ranking, there's no pecking order. So there's a lot fewer ways you can do that, right? It's like you're grabbing three people for, you know, here. Another classic example. Suppose you have eight people in a classroom, you're going to take three of them. The first person taken is going to be, I don't know, um, the president of a club, the second person's the vice president, third person's the treasurer. There's an order to it. But if you're just going to take eight, three people out to be on a committee with no different ranking, there's a lot less ways you can do that, right? Because you're just taking three people. All right, so that's it. That's that's all I needed to show you. Everything else, unfortunately for you, is by hand. <laughs> but those few things can be done with the calculator. All right, I'll see you here for Chapter 6.